Are you struggling to create a learning plan or a roadmap in your data science learning journey? If yes, then this video is for you. I will share some of the major mistakes which I did in my initial days of data science and I make sure that I provide the suggestions on how to fixing them so that you don't repeat it once again. Plus, I'll be giving you absolutely free Notion template and data science roadmap to help you out in your journey. More of this at the end of the video. Mistake number one. I used to usually search on YouTube for the roadmaps and I tried to follow them, but it always seemed to fail. The roadmaps were not terrible, they were good, but it always didn't use to align with my goals and the learning style which I'm used to. That's why I recommend starting by identifying your goals. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve in your data science learning journey? Do you want to become a data scientist and build data driven products or do you want to learn a particular skill for your current job? The second mistake which I did is not assessing my current skills and not having a proper learning style. To overcome this mistake, I did recommend to take your inventory skills and the knowledge and try to determine or figure out where you need to put your learning efforts. You may ask a particular question, hey Ayush, how can I I identify or determine my learning style. One of the way to determine your learning style is to take an online learning style assessments. These assessments typically ask you questions around how you like to learn and process new information. And then they provide you with a breakdown of your learning style based on your responses. Second, and one of the most reliable way to determine your learning style is to reflect on your past experiences and learn from it. So do an exercise, think about how you have learned best in the past. Like, have you always excelled in something learning which is a classroom-like setting or you excel while learning independently? Or do you prefer hands-on practical learning or read and study learnings? Your past experiences can provide valuable insights into determining your learning styles. Another way to determine your learning style is to experiment with different type of method. It may happen that you may not be comfortable or you may not be have taken any such different methods like online courses, workshops, you, you may have not tried that out. And while doing all these experiments, pay attention of what works for you and what does not. And this will help you to determine your learning style and you will be able to smoothly run in your learning journey. For me, workshops don't really work very well, but doing online courses or reading books or doing project of by my own is the best source of learning which I can do. One of the major suggestions which I want to give to you is to be in a mood to receive criticism, to receive feedbacks on your learnings. Be open to that. Ask other people to rate your learning, how good you are going by whatever methods you're following away, right? So please be open to feedbacks. Now after we have a roadmap, we created the learning style. Third mistake which I did in my journey was not focusing on foundation. When I first began my learning, I wanted to learn as quickly as possible. So I directly jumped on machine learning and tried to learn from the various courses. But I was not able to understand the concept. That time I realized I don't have the foundations or the base which is required for data science or machine learning and ignoring it. By the this I wasted my several months and this is the biggest and biggest mistake which I ever did which I don't want you to repeat. So I have prepared a particular roadmap video where I had a talk in detail about what is the base you have to learn, what is the exact resources in very comprehensive way. As I said, there is no shortcuts. Another mistake which I did is not doing any sort of impactful projects. So even if you know a single algorithm like linear regression till that, please try to do a particular project using that algorithm so you may get an idea of using the particular machine learning algorithm for the particular data. Before starting any sort of machine learning projects, it's important to have a clear understanding of what you're trying to solve and the opportunity which you have in that particular problem. So you may ask, hey Ayush, where can I find the project ideas because it is super difficult to find out the project ideas. Project Pro is curated library of verified, solved end-to-end -end project solutions in data science, machine learning and big data. All the projects are created by top-notch industry experts from the top global tech companies. Here, you'll get end-to-end -end project solutions, reusable codes, guided videos and 24 into 7 customer support. Get access to 3000 plus code recipes which are absolutely free for you and buy the subscription plan to get access to 250 plus solved projects. Check out Project Pro website to know more about it 
and subscribe to the Project Pro YouTube channel. Another mistake which I want to highlight, not having the proper learning schedule and not being consistent enough in my initial days of learning. One of the book which I read where I saw a particular quote where the author said that you don't have to do 30 push-ups every day because it may happen that you do push-ups today but you not do 30 push-ups the next day. It's better to do one push-ups every day and to build a habit out of it. So first of all, identify and set your goals as I said in the mistake number one. Make sure that your goals are practical enough, specific and achievable. Then break your goals into tasks or milestones, whatever works the best for you. So once you're done with the goals, once you're done with the breaking down of tasks, I do recommend to create a schedule that actually bring those milestones or tasks into action so that you can start working on those milestones or the tasks which you have broke down for your particular goal. You will be finding a template for a breakdown of your goals into several milestones or tasks. If you want to know more about how I do this, you can check out my video on how I manage my time effectively. And there are several mistakes which I did over the journey of the learning journey. But I have summarized my learning learning journey, mistakes which I did and given you the suggestions on how to overcome those. I hope that if you apply these things in your journey, you will be not able to repeat the mistakes which I did. So by now you are ready to kick start of your data science learning journey. But wait, don't close this video. I have a special gift for you all guys. I have created a notion template where you can follow and track all your progress which you will do in this data science learning journey. I'll be catching up you guys later on. Till then, bye bye.